Whew. All right, well, you'll know the point of that in a second. So basically, I'm getting ready to go do some legs at the gym, and you know what uh, brought me to thinking that there's a lot of people with back injuries, like myself, I won't go into the details later, but around this time last year, I had um, back surgery on my L5-S1, and uh, it took me around a month before I started going back to the gym. Doctor said, you know, you're not gonna be lifting more than 15 pounds. Here I am back to my old routine. But anyway, a lot of guys that have these back injuries, whether they've had surgery, thinking about surgery, or don't want to, have a hard time training legs. So I'm gonna give you five exercises to get a good leg routine so you can still build up some pretty impressive legs. <clears throat> first things first, okay, you wanna be safe during all of this. So what you're gonna do, you wanna make sure you have your lifting belt on. I don't use the leather, the leather ones. They pinch the shit out of me during different kind of motions that I'm doing during my exercise, so I go with that style there. Second thing, and this doesn't have to do with your back, this is more about your knees, make sure you have some knee sleeves or some um, those wraps. Now the wraps are gonna be better, but they're a pain in the dick to get on and off all the time, so I like to go ahead and use the sleeves. A lot of guys talk shit about belts, about the uh, knee sleeves, and you know they probably don't know what you're going through and why you would even wanna have the belt on, but you can laugh at them when they're injured when they're older and you're still lifting those weights. As far as the sleeves go, it just protects your knees. You know, as, as you're going with heavier and heavier weights, your knees are taking more and more damage and that's gonna mitigate some of that. Okay, so basically here, here's how, we, how we're doing it. How to build some big legs with a back injury, okay? Number one is the leg press. Now I know what you're thinking, you've heard it before, right? It doesn't work, it's still causing you pain. It caused pain for me too until I switched up my foot placement. Okay, what you need to do is you need to take your feet from where you normally keep them, you're gonna have a little bit of a wider stance and you're gonna raise them up. So instead of your foot placement being in the center of that leg press, you're gonna put it up and that's gonna put a lot more focus in your glutes and hamstrings, take a lot of pressure off your knees and as you go down in your range of motion, you're not gonna feel it in that lower back. Exercise number two, lunges, walking lunges. Real simple to do if you don't know how to do them. Um, Check out a YouTube video. I might have the video set up when I go do my legs, but you know, time of the year it is, it's getting close to New Year's, the gym's gonna be packed, and I don't wanna be that guy fighting people walking around with my tripod. Okay, so leg extensions. Leg extensions are gonna be your next exercise. Now I'd use these more as a finisher, and I wouldn't do any more than I'd say four sets per week. It's not best on those knees. And when you're doing it, I wouldn't go for you know, one rep max or your two to three, you wanna be getting at least eight to 12. The heavier the weight, the more dangerous, the more debilitating this exercise becomes. All right, exercise three, hamstring curls, seated or standing. Great exercise to develop a lot of mass on those hamstrings. All right, the last two exercises we're doing are gonna be seated calf raises and standing calf raises. Fuck, hey, how about that video edit? Okay, the last two exercises we're gonna be doing are seated calf raises and calf raises on the leg press. Now normally, what you'd wanna do is your standing calf raises, but you know, we have those back injuries, and if we're standing up, it's gonna put a lot of weight on those discs, and we wanna mitigate that. So as opposed to standing, we're gonna be doing it in the leg press. That way, all that weight is off the spine, okay? And then your last exercise, one we had mentioned previously, the seated calf raises. All those are great variations to help build up your legs and calves without back, back injuries.